We just pushed out our biggest update of the year. Keep in mind, it's only February, so we've got a long way to go. Let me show you what we have for you. Up first is a new flexible default checkout design that is more than just a design. It's a whole new set of design capabilities for your checkout. And this right here is going to be the new default design when you install Surecart. Of course, with that, we've added a brand new mobile order summary. As you can see, it collapses and is there on the top. And you could just click right here to expand to see everything that's in that order summary. This is gonna be great for mobile buyers. Now this checkout is so flexible. You can see I spent about 10 minutes and modified it to come up with this design. You can see I moved the checkout form from the left to the right. You can also see I added an image. I added a product selector right here. And I also took that order summary and I highly condensed it to what you see here just to show the subtotal if there's taxes and the total. So as you can see, it's highly highly, highly flexible. Next, and I'm gonna be able to demonstrate it for you on this checkout, we've added conditional fields. So based on conditions, you can show or hide pretty much anything. Watch, when I select annual membership, take a look right here, you're gonna see, oh, here's a little message. It says, I am a conditional message. It actually doesn't matter what it says because you can make it say whatever you want. And you can apply multiple conditions and you can have anything show conditionally. We spent about three months perfecting this design here of how do you make an elegant interface for adding this kind of conditional feature. And you can see right here, conditions can be based on products that are in the checkout, the total amount, coupons that are used, the processor that's chosen, as well as the shipping country. You simply choose the condition then you choose what's called an operator. In this case, it's a total, so it's gonna be a number, and I chose greater than and greater than $50. You can add an additional condition or an or condition as well. We've also added a new way to break down the order summary when there's a discount involved. So you can see on this checkout, I'm displaying this dynamic order bump. So it only is available if this product's in the checkout. Now watch this area right here where the price is. When I accept this order bump by checking right here, watch what happens to the order summary. It adds the product and the original price, which is 199, and then it shows the discount right underneath it. So it's always in the forefront of your buyer's mind how much money they're saving by also buying the order bumps that you're offering them. Now there's also more improvements. Uh, one that I'm happy about is our first batch of native translations that are inside of SureCard. And so this is gonna include Spanish, French, and German. So now if your WordPress site is in one of those three languages, SureCard will automatically uh, automatically be translated out of the box. You don't have to add uh, another plugin and translate everything. It's all offered there out of the box for you and we'll be adding more translations. Now in the rest of this video, I'm gonna give you some of the highlights of the features that I just talked about, but keep an eye out on the channel for more in-depth videos in the coming days. And also make sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna go over some of the exciting things that are coming next to SureCard. First, let's go over the new default checkout design. Now, if you are an existing SureCard user, when you update to this version, we don't replace your default checkout that you might have put together to replace it with this. So if you want the new design, I'll show you how to do that right now. There's a couple steps that you have to do. So step one is you wanna go to SureCart and then you wanna go right here where it says forms. And you want to find the form that's named checkout and you'll see, it'll say store checkout next to it like that. This is what you wanna do and you're going to delete it. So I'm gonna click trash. And then once I delete it, I need to click into the trash and then right here, click on empty trash. So now it's permanently deleted. Next, go to your pages and go to the page that we created named checkout. And this will also say 
hyphen store checkout. Let's also go ahead and trash this, go into the trash can and click on empty trash. So what we've done now is we've completely wiped out the old default checkout. Now, Shortcart has a mechanism in it. If you delete something that is essential for Shortcart to work, if you disable Shortcart and re-enable, it will automatically regenerate that for you. So if you ever accidentally delete your customer dashboard area, your, your default checkout or something important like that, all you have to do is go to plugins, go to your list of installed plugins, scroll down to Surecart, click on deactivate, and then we're gonna scroll back down and then we're going to click on activate. And what you're gonna see is it checks to make sure you have all of those important components. So now when I go back to my pages, you're gonna see that it has recreated the checkout page right here. And you'll see when you go to Surecart and then forms, you're gonna see it has recreated that checkout form for you as well. So now let's click into the checkout form to take a look at the new design capabilities. Now, I always like to have list view open and that's when you click on this icon and then start expanding the pieces of content in here. So what we see is we have a new component called Surecart Columns, and then here is a Surecart Column, and here is the second Surecart Column. Now when you click into these, it's gonna have options that appear over here on the right. So when I click on the parent item here, Surecart Columns, you can see we have it configured to stack on mobile, to fill the vertical height, that means that even though in that order summary, there's only a little bit of content, the column itself is gonna take the full height of the page. You see that right here, the full height of the page. And as you can see right there, it's also sticky. And then we have this option here to reverse the order on mobile. And we also have the options here to change the background color or the text color. So you have all of these options, including the spacing. But when I click into a column, here's where there's some great magic. So you can see over here, you can set the width of that column. So if you want it to be a little more narrow or a little more wide, you can easily do that right here. And then there's also this option here to change the justification. And so that means is the content going to stick to the right, be in the middle or stick to the left? So for the left column, we have it sticking to the right, and that's how we're able to achieve it sticking to the right, right here. It, if we had it centered, there would be more spacing here. Now you can also see there's an option here to make it sticky, which we are using over here on the order summary because we want that always to be visible. And then right here, you can see the background. So we have this set to white and you can see that's why this is white here going all the way to the edge. And then we have the option here to adjust the spacing. So if you wanted a little bit more space here, uh, it's going to be this option right there. So these options are all new and we're using the same options in this other column. You can see this was the column that we made sticky. So it's right here and we have the same width options, the same exact options are all available for this column here as well. Now, another new component is this one right here and you can see it's the store logo. So this will automatically show the logo that you've configured inside of your SureCard store without you having to do anything. So when you upgrade to this checkout, this will be the logo that you have added. A quick refresher, the place to go to add that logo, you go to SureCard, you go down here to your settings. Next, you'll click right here where it says design and branding, and you'll see this is where you set your brand color. That's where the black payment button is coming from and the highlight cover when you uh, click into one of these fields, it's coming right there from these, these brand settings. And then here is where my logo is. So when you switch to this new checkout style, we're automatically gonna display your logo and automatically gonna use your brand's color. And make sure to remember that all of these different checkout components, you can click into them and there's gonna be customization options here in the right for everything, including all of these totals here. 
So you can simply just click into anything that you want and fully customize it. Now I'll make a separate video on exactly how I created this layout. Essentially, I changed the column order to move the checkout over here to the right. I added an image block, a paragraph block, another paragraph block right here, and then I added a product selector. And then of course you notice I added that conditional container to be able to show this message right here. And since we're on that topic of conditions, why don't I show you how this feature works? Now this conditional fields or conditional content for the checkout is available to everyone that has a Surecart premium plan. Now, right now we are offering a lifetime discount on all premium Surecart plans, but we're gonna remove that lifetime discount in a few months. So this is how that works. I'll go ahead and click here and I'm gonna click on the plus and I'm gonna start typing condition. And there's this new block that says conditional. And when you click on that, it's gonna add it into the location you put it the first thing it's gonna ask you is to set your conditions. So I'll click right here where it says add conditions and we get this beautiful pop-up. Now you can access this and tweak this at any point later. If you see when I've selected this new conditional container over here on the right, we also get the button here to configure your conditions. Then it's simple, click on this and choose your condition. So a real simple one is the one that I used earlier. The total amount is greater than a certain amount. So let's say $100. Now I can add additional conditions right here and or conditions, but I'll just click right here where it says set rules. And then we can click right here to add anything we want inside of here. I can add an image. I can add additional custom fields. I can add whatever I want in here. As you saw earlier, I just added some paragraph text like that and I started typing away and you can see there'll always be this badge right here that says conditional. So you'll be able to visually identify where a visual container is. And you can see over here inside our list view, here's our conditional container and underneath it will be everything that will show only when that condition is met. And always remember, you can click right here where it says conditional and you can always come back to reconfigure those conditions, add, adjust, however you want it to work. This is just the start of the new year and we've got amazing features and enhancements coming to Surecart that we're already working on. So let me first go over what to expect in the coming weeks. So you saw here, we are introducing this new, elegant, beautiful checkout design. Now what's coming up right after this is we're gonna have a new order summary experience. That's where someone goes right after they place their order. And then we're also going to be adding an elegant design for your customer areas. And all of this is gonna work out of the box and look amazing out of the box. But that's not all. We're also gonna be adding instant checkout pages. So right now there's just more steps than we would like when you create a product to get to the point of selling that product. You have to go create a form, then you gotta go create a checkout page unless you're using the default checkout. We want to give you an amazing experience instantly. And so we're going to be releasing instant checkout pages for your products. I'm very excited about this one. And of course, we're going to be adding Molly for EU merchants. Well, any merchant that wants to use Molly to accept payments, we're adding that to the platform. Now, the bigger thing that a lot of people are waiting for is product pages and physical product support. With Surecart, you could always create your own product pages and you can sell products and you can ship them to people, but we don't offer some of the things that you need to make this faster and more seamless. So in April, we're gonna have product pages for you. Right now, Surecart doesn't make product pages for you. You can make them on your own, but in April, we're gonna have an update planned for April where product pages are gonna be created for you. You can customize them. 
You can edit the templates. You can have multiple product page designs. It's going to be pretty amazing. And of course, if you're going to have product pages, you need to have a shop page design. So this will be the page on your website that'll have a grid of your products. And each of the products are in what's called a card inside of this grid. We're also making it so that you can customize that card. So the grid looks exactly how you want it to look. And with that update, we're also going to release inventory control, which is essential for selling physical products, but also for ticket and event sales. Then we have shipping and with shipping and having specific shipping charges, we're also going to have a customizable multi-step checkout that you can use so that you don't have all the steps on the same part of the checkout. So it doesn't overwhelm your users pretty much going to function a lot like Cartflows does and a lot like Shopify does, except that it's going to be highly customizable. Of course, it's going to be amazing out of the box. And then after that, we're going to have product variations and after product variations. And during this time, we're going to be releasing two new payment gateways. Paystack as well as razor pay. Now, all of that's not going to come out at the same time in April. It's going to come out in stages. And when we have the first stage, we'll tell you a, or show you a preview of the next stage and the next stage, but you can expect all of this to be released this summer. And yes, it's going to be a big and great summer here for sure card. Of course, that's just all the big highlights. There's going to be lots of feature releases between now and then so many things to even mention. Now, if you want to be in the loop of everything that's coming, sneak peeks, previews, little teaser videos. So you are all prepared. The best place to get that information is our Facebook group. I'll include a link down below. There's thousands of Surecart users in there talking, sharing strategies, helping each other. It's a great place. And I'm in there daily showing exactly what we're working on. So you always know, and you can prepare for your business, all these great things we're bringing to Surecart. So keep an eye out for those videos for each of these new features. Thank you for watching this video. Share Surecart with your friends in your social networks so that we can get as many people as possible to start using Surecart. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.